so you can be a hero with your family and save lives so take this DIY challenge and let's do something in this documentation we'll learn the basics how to produce these highly functional face shields using very cheap or readily available household materials you don't need a 3d printer you don't need engineering skills it's easy well we have a lot of materials that we can uh, choose from, uh, ranging from foam sheets, uh, thick poster card, plastified if possible, flexible uh, plastic sheets or a wide range of synthetic materials and try to get them in A4 format. Uh, you can visit www.covision.life so you can follow the on-screen instructions to so can make something among these lines. So let's start. Go ahead and print the molds. I already prepared the file, so you just have to download it and cut it. And tick that printer resize automatic uh, function so you can get the correct size. And please check in the end if you get the 290 millimeters by 40 in each band. They have to be equal. So you can download and print this out. These are just some molds to help you out. Uh, go ahead and put it on the material of choice. In this case, I'm using a foam sheet that it's very light, it's very, very easy to cut, and in the end, it will be resistant to the tearing and wearing of the user. So just mark it off, like so. Don't forget to mark the holes and then the outer band. Also do the same thing. Uh, use a ruler to help you out and just mark it on. After you cut it, uh, make it nice and tight, the cut and you will be able to use um, the marks of the holes to punch some holes in it so we can later put the elastic strap. And as you can see, there are some markings, uh, red, red, blue, blue, you just place them on those areas. You can mark them with, um, with a pen too, so you don't forget where you have to overlay. Don't forget to place the holes in there too. And in this case, I'm using a really strong uh, tape, industrial tape because I find it easier to bind the two bands with this type of tape and it will be very 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 secure like so do the same for the other end so I speed up the video so you can see I'm starting to cut the rope the elastic rope 20 centimeters is enough uh, it, it will give you enough uh, length so you can tie some knots Pass it through the holes, like so. Do a double knot so you can be very, very, very tight. You should stretch the elastic till you get a very tight knot and it will be something like this. Test it out, push it out so you can see if it's strongly attached and you have a nice headband. All the bands should have an arc shape like that so the transparent sheet will be far away from the user nose and you can see like uh, different materials get different uh, weights and sizes but they're all very very sturdy even the foam one so you can make a little knot uh, on the back strap so you can be adjusted to different head sizes and still you can make very nice ones from aluminium cutable material and all sorts of materials be creative so let's do uh, the plastic, uh, transparent plastic uh, placing and I will be using in my example double sided adhesive tape. So 
the A4 transparent sheet should be placed uh, in landscape mode horizontally. I place uh, an entire stripe here. I'm going to remove it and just easily I'm going to mark the center like so and as you can see it's already secure. You can use a lot of uh, the fixing techniques, you can put magnets, you can also do stapling and you can do double side adhesive and stapling making it even more secure. It's your choice really. When you do this, make them really resistant and hard to break because remember the healthcare professionals will be wearing these a lot of hours.